Hello everyone. Let's deal with this very quickly. Okay. We have square root of 8 to the power of 2x being equal to 1 over 4. Are you thinking this is hard? In that case, you have to think again. 8 here is the same thing as square root of 8 is 8 to the power of 1 over 2. And then here we have power of 2x. This is equal to 4. I mean, 1 over 4 is 4 to the power of negative 1. According to law of indices. Do you know that this can cancel this since we will have to multiply? Okay, if you do, that means we are having 8 to the power of x being equal to 4 to the power of negative 1. Okay? And then, if you still agree to this extent, then let's make sure they have the same base. 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Then we have x on the outside. Then 2 is 4 is 2 to the power of 2. And we have negative 1 on the outside. Now, the powers can always multiply. So we have 2 to the power of 3x. This is equal to being equal to 2 to the power of 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Now, the bases are the same. We work with the powers, right? So we can say that 3x is equal to minus 2. I am working with the powers and not the basis. From here, we divide by 3 and divide this by 3. This will go with this. And x will be equal to minus 2 over 3. Okay, so if you're doubting whether this will be right or wrong, stay with me as we try to check our answer. Okay, so this is the original equation, and our x is equal to minus 2 over 3. So my target now is the left-hand side. I want to impute this value into the left-hand um, left side. Are we going to have 1 over 4? That's our target. So we have square root of 8 to the power of 2, then multiply by um, minus 2 over 3. This is what we have, right? Okay, let's continue. And I said 8 here is, um, square root of 8 is 8 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, let this be in bracket. Then we have power of 2. Then multiply by minus 2 over 3. Now, these two will go with this. And this means that we are having 8 to the power of negative 2 over 3 now and then remember we are looking for 1 over 4 so now to continue with this this will imply that 2 to the power of 3 and then negative 2 to the power um negative 2 over 3 is what we are having because 8 is 2 to the power of 3 count this cancel this yes it can because both of them are powers and we have to multiply them. So this can go with this. Now this implies that we are having 2 to the power of negative 2. And 2 to the power of negative 2, according to one of the laws of indices, is 1 over 2 to the power of 2. The negative has gone. And then 1 over 2 to the power of 2 is the same as 1 over 4. And this is what we had on the left, on the right hand side, right? So look at it over there. And that's what we are having. So we are very correct to say that our x is equal to negative 2 over 3. Thank you for watching.